Prescription medication has simply become unaffordable for millions of Americans, but a change that took effect this week has dramatically reduced how much people have to pay for life-saving insulin. The change is part of the Biden administration's Inflation Reduction Act, and while it will help countless New Jerseyans afford their medicine, it doesn't apply to everyone who needs it. Senior correspondent Brenda Flanagan takes a look at who benefits and what more New Jersey legislators would like to do to lower those costs. We've fought for these types of prescription drug reforms for decades, um, and we're very excited. Advocates applauded as this week marked the first time diabetic folks on Medicare didn't have to pay more than $35 for a month's supply of insulin. The price cap, enacted as part of the Federal Inflation Reduction Act, now helps some 77,000 New Jersey residents afford a drug they need to live. The costs of insulin have been going up rapidly, um, and this will provide peace of mind for these tens of thousands of older New Jerseyans who need this life-saving drug. That's the good news. What's not so good? The cap applies only to Medicare recipients, but the skyrocketing cost of prescription medicines forcing everyone to struggle. Insulin costs rose 64 percent from 2014 to 2019 and can cost from $375 to $1,000 a month for some diabetics. Meanwhile, inflation's taking a bigger bite out of all our paychecks, says Jersey Citizen Action's Laura Waddell. The result? One in four people in New Jersey are um, skipping their doses and not being able to uh, and not filling their prescriptions. And that uh, that stat, it's actual actually um, two to three times more uh, severe in communities of color in black and brown communities. Every day we wait is another day that someone is having to make that, that sort of Hobson's choice between their medicine or their rent or their medicine and their food um, or their mortgage payments. And we shouldn't put, put people in those situations. Burlington County Senator Troy Singleton sponsored several bills to help make prescription drugs more affordable. One bill caps monthly co-pays for several life-saving medications at $35 for insulin, $25 for EpiPens to treat folks having allergic reactions, and $50 for asthma inhalers. But the Caps just cover people enrolled in state-regulated health insurance plans, and that's only about a third of New Jersey residents. And these kinds of caps uh, don't really solve affordability challenges for consumers who are uninsured. And health insurance rep Ward Sanders says capping prices on a few meds will only push drug makers to raise premiums. But you are raising the overall cost of coverage. There's no, there's no magic here of reducing. Uh, the cost of drugs. And that's what we really have to get to. That's the fundamental problem. And so we have to ask the manufacturers uh, for some responsibility for the prices that they set. Sanders says insurers would back price caps, but only if Trenton lawmakers also create a prescription drug affordability board to study how big pharma spends its dollars and structures its prices. AARP also wants an affordability board. Which will, for the first time, um, allow our state to really get at the root cause of the problem, uh, which are the high prices set by the industry. But that would demand extraordinary transparency from the powerful New Jersey pharmaceutical industry. BioNJ, a life sciences research and development trade organization, stated its members support legislative measures that will enhance the ability of patients to access the biopharmaceutical industry's life-saving treatments and reduce patient out-of-pocket costs. But lobbyists for the industry have often claimed it needs high drug prices to pay for developing new medicines. The ability to bring drugs to market, life-saving drugs to market, is not an inexpensive endeavor. I get that, I understand that, and I applaud those in the research space who are doing that each and every day to help cure people and save lives. But at the same token, medicine doesn't work if people can't afford it. So we have to strike that, that unique balance. Singleton claims Big Pharma spends more on advertising dollars than on R&D. He hopes his reform bills end up on Governor Murphy's desk by summer, but they failed to gain approval last year. And with legislative elections coming up this fall, they face an uncertain prognosis. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.